Valeria. That had always been the goal. It was the goal that Valerian had come so close to achieving, only to pass away before he had a chance to be named the true settler of that city. It was a goal coveted even by the conqueror, Rhaegar Cinder I, when he began his colonies in the north. But it was a goal that only one could claim, and Maegor was certain that it would be him. He would be known as the founder of Valyria, a far finer title than Maegor the Messy, that was certain. By selling off minor titles and counties, as well as leasing and loaning whenever he could, the king was able to secure large swathes of payment, around five million gold pieces. Of this, almost the entirety went on sp- expansions in Valyria. The port of Oros was expanded to supply new transport ships, one that would attend a new port being built in Valyria itself, as well as begin to supply a new settlement with Interior. The best way to support Valyria was to build up a stronger surrounding, after all. For a large payment of gold, gold he'd earned as being chief advisor to the king, Prince Orion was able to purchase the rights to Tyria himself, choosing to grant them to his second son. It lined up well with the desire of the emperor, a desire he made clear with a royal decree that only souls of Cinder heritage could hold lands on Valyria proper. Orion used what gold he had left to settle the lands around Tyria, establishing a large trade port on the Smoking Sea, a sea which still held many mysteries and wonders, even had begun to fill homes and colonies. Those who live in Tyria tell tales of strange figures on the horizon, an endless fog which coats the sea. Valyria itself continued to grow, a village had turned into a town and now a city, thousands strong. The garrison itself was filled by well-paid soldiers, soldiers risking their bodies and their minds in that strange place. It cost more to keep the place upon running than it produced, but there were already some roots of farming, some mines which had been established. It seemed more and more possible by the year to keep this place running, to keep itself sufficient. As the empire continued to grow and expand through conquest, through gold, through construction, it became more and more present that there was one thing missing. And soon, it would be completed. Valyria would be the crown jewel of it all. Valyria would be their new home. Their legacy. Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones. Where we are playing as Emperor Maegor the Messy of Valyria, married to our dear Jahira. Last episode, we granted our son Baina his own sort of princely title here in the lands of Long Summer, from the Port of Sides, and now we have begun our expansions into Valyria. Valyria itself still is not ready; it is still an advanced colony, but part of the hope is that we can relieve this and get its supplies by beginning work here. Uh, we have a proper port of Valyria in Morris. This will be serving as the main port for the capital. But then up here, we have granted Aemon Cinder these lands up to the north. I've decided that only Cinders will be able to hold lands on the main isles, but then these isles on the side will give to other Valyrian households. Aemon uh, is the son of Orion, uh, who is a good friend of ours, who attempted to usurp Marine, but was unsuccessful. Of course, uh, Bathan's son. Uh, but it's all, it's all right. I mean, we don't like Bathan the second. That match is clear, son of Alex. But yeah, we are not a fan. It's it's such a weird line, Marine. <laughs> but with this expansion, we're hoping that we're going to slowly start feeding people into Valyria, and that it will tick over and become a normal colony. Of course, we actually have a good amount of money because we've made some sales of titles, a lot of sales of titles, and we have sort of sold privileges as well. So we're in a very odd position, uh, but it's it's will fill our war chest for now. Yeah, people aren't going to be happy I granted them to those, but yeah, I don't especially care much. The reason I wanted this much is because uh, the last wars have shown me we could do a little expansion in not our armies, but our protection and, and our general sort of nation. Because our armies are absurd now. We're up to 200,000. No one is going to be able to beat this. Uh, basically, up to Volantis, it's about 
uh, by my count, 120. And then when you add in these, you know, it's it's another 80,000. So this is, you know, we are a substantial nation at this point. And if we start pushing into calf, that's going to be even more. And don't forget, each of these has potential for like 20,000. Oh, Dana has had a dragon birthed. Starfire. What a lovely name. Is Frugiharis, one of my siblings, the future heir to Volantis. Uh, 50 gold for him to join me. He's not that great. I don't need more that many more courtiers at the moment, at least. Raises banners in rebellion. I guess two. It's the Isle of Cedars. Oh, he just it randomly is a vassal of the Isle of Cedars. Who owns also that bit. Yeah, the Isle of Cedars is very weird. It, they have fallen to um, this new... Uh, like, it's still the Reg Regnan line. He's still technically a Valyrian, but he has taken completely these... Um, these traits from... Uh, from Asosis. Actually, no, how is he related? So he's a grandson of Lord Sarios, who's the original Regnar ruler. Get the rock. Oh my goodness, the rock has taken the north. Uh, they previously only owned up to the Riverlands, I believe. No, uh, and no, the Riverlands. The yeah, Riverlands were the Rock. The Vale were and Crownlands were the Iron Throne. But the Iron Throne has lost the North to the Rock. Look at the size of that. They're basically gonna reform the Iron Throne at this point. They're very close to it. They just need these three. Very powerful position. The the, the Lannisters. Oh, sorry, not the Lannisters. Is it's the Plums, the mighty Plums who have ruled for for millenn for uh, generations. I'll order him to stand down, and he'll say no, because he's a bastard. 80,000 men. The difference is he's in more direct control of his men compared to me. But, I mean, my numbers are still... <laughs> completely unmatched. I could begin work on the Stepstones. But, I'm not too sure it's worth it. For now, I'm letting all of these people keep their titles. Should they attempt to rise, I want to repatriate this whole area into Freehold. Honestly, I may do it anyway, but for now I've let them keep their titles just because Magor at least isn't the sort to take those titles away. He's he's diligent and he's kind and charitable, so it did make sense to me that it would be him. Um, he wants a title. My nephew. No. I don't care. My daughter, Baina, has passed away. It's unfortunate. How many men does he have up here? 757. I would have thought Tyria would have more than that. Is it because it needs to fill up? Yeah, okay. It, it will... He needs to wait until his garrison is full, but then he can get about 5,000 men. Uh, these won't have any troops, though, will they? No. Just have to grant them away as well, it looks like. Or at least grant away the Isle of um, Tukunemia. Let's look at expansions in Valyria with our leftover sales. Barracks, maybe. Training grounds could be good. So let's see. To upgrade the modest estates, we need a steward's tower free. So that's going to be upgrading you. Uh, in Tolos, I think all of them are just going to need an upgraded uh, guard station. So we're just going to do it in all three. Bye bye me. And then the Valyria itself, we can spend a little bit just because I, I'm pretty confident it will eventually finish, but it is taking a long time. I still want to, at least for when it is finished, have it built up a bit. I also think building up may 
somewhat help the game realize, oh, maybe we could actually upgrade this. Do I have the Valyrian architecture and mines in here already? I do, right? I have the mines and... Oh, yeah, the architecture is base here. So it's only here in mines that it needs to come separate. But these obviously are great, great things. Very, very expensive. But I want to directly own most of this because of these architecture and mines. They are incredibly valuable. Incredibly valuable. But we aren't going to upgrade Morris for a little bit just because it's not too great. I will actually... Can I upgrade the port? Or is that not a possibility? No, you need a castle town to get the shipyard up. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Belarus is growing in power. Sieging still going on in Volantis. Okay, it's a vassal war. It's not his war. Or her war, rather. That's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sainris... Has in has in no my wife has inherited the kingdom of Long Sabbath and Sainris is now my heir. What happened to my son? He ah oh, he attempted to tame a dragon and it killed him. Fire catcher. Yeah, and a, a wild dragon. I guess he tried to tame tame it and it killed him. We've not seen that in a while, honestly. A, a death to dragon. Now my wife has inherited a, a title of her own. So our heir is now Princess Sainry. She's the heir to both titles, which as she should be. Um, fall in love, Paragon of Virtue. I, let's try and have a son, at least. Ooh, Tolos gets prosperity. Sure. Maybe I need to look for... Another Valyrian wife as well. No. Uh, I have to use the ledgers. My culture group. Female. Not married. Try and get ones who are Valyrian. Adult. Specifically, look at my dynasty as well. Marrying my daughter would be a bit cruel. Or a bit stupid. 61. Bainer. How is Bainer related to me? Is she just a kinswoman? What if I marry her now that my, her marriage to my son ended without children? I'm just thinking because I could do with a second wife to try and get a son born. A ten gold dowry. Call a great council. No, I, d I don't want to call a great council. I would I would be this this line this line was started by a female ruler. It was you know through Malaris de Mary. So as as such, I should allow my daughter to inherit if I do not have a son. I it could cause conflict, but. I just think it's worth it. I don't. I don't see a reason for another great council, especially because I could still have a son. I'm only forty-two. Uh, this is Dayguardia Cursed. Yeah, I'll pay him a visit on my dragon. Try and slight me again. See what happens. That's exterminated. Jesus. What a my mother has died. A uh, small, small private funeral. She was a bastard, even if she is my mother. And she's just one-handed as well, so... She lived a full life. Yeah, we'll send supplies, try and relieve Morris. A famine has hit them, which is not good. I believe the famine at least is cleared from... Yeah, there's a trade port here. It's interesting. What does fort? What do forts do? Oxani occupation of enemy nomad brothers and negate crushing attrition penalties suffered in pagan homelands. So I guess you can do that in these regions. Makes sense. I I don't play enough base CK because I assume that's a base CK feature. 
You could spend money building another one of these, but as long as it's an advanced colony, there's not much point in building any great expansions. We'll have to... I'll pay to compensate that. Well, we just will have to basically wait and find how long it's going to take for this advanced colony to pass. Bria is a very good province, to be fair. So, noble title, which is actually just paying him, apparently. See, Lord Paramount just, just serious of Yunkai. A brown-haired Valyrian. So, Rhaegal passed away, my, my dear uncle, of cancer. Very unfortunate. That Valax has escaped from the dungeons of Fasalo and has built a lair in Valena. My wife has hatched a dragon, the she dragon Rhaegal. Or Rail, actually. Also, that is a wonderful outfit. I love that crown. Alex Cinder now rides uh, Valex into battle. Is Aeris of Marine? Is he the heir to Marine? Yes, for, because uh, only because Bathan has not had a son. Mir is raising its entire army. Mirish Taroshi trade war over High Garden. So are they fighting over who can trade with the Reach? That's what I'd assume it is. Interesting. Fighting Bravos for this. What if I attack Bravos at the same time? Have them fight two wars at once. It's so odd, I can only fight a Dragon Conquest for Bravos itself. I can't seem to fight one for Pentos. I still think it's worth it. The wealth we know they have, you know, it's it's worth pushing on this. We're gonna do it by C. Give these to Tolos. You to Tolos too. And our ships to Tola, so we have the right navy for this. Mia and will not be able to join because they're technically at war already, but that is fine. We have more than enough ships to carry our full army. Although I do actually have more troops, because I also have troops now in Valyria, another 4,000 troops down here. But I want to leave these troops alone, because you never know what you could do with a spare army. Wrong one. That's how dumb I am. I can't embark them because I need to unite the ships first. Let's embark to Bravos. You know, maybe we embark to Pentos or no? I think we can go straight. We can go straight to Bravos. Apparently, Lys is having a war of his disputed lands. Uh, Eight thousand men against nine hundred men. I wonder how that war's going to go. And I forgot I cannot click on the religion tab or I crash. Because I wanted to look at the Bravosi religion. And I crashed. My bad. I do hope that's an eventual fix. I don't know if it ever will be. But it is a bit of an annoyance that it is an existent issue. Eris has hatched Gorfanon. I'm not sure what causes it. I assume it's maybe because the religion is so large that they they have this sort of problem processing it. These armies are going to take a long time to get over here, by the way. These armies are all the way still in North Illyria. So yeah, we're only going to have one dragon in this army for uh, Aemon, I believe, who has a uh, Nectacon. Because Alakwa definitely doesn't have one. And Beleno... I don't think anyone on the Isle of Cedars has ever owned a dragon. What about the Lord of Borash? Does he own one? don't think so, does he? No. We ha we're, we're actually uh, sort of having a problem with dragons, just because we aren't having enough dragons within uh, area itself. All of our dragons now are sort of spread across our lords, so we're relying on them to do at least a good amount of work. I 
want to take the marches and then go to the isles. Oh, he's going to attack me here. I know he's abandoned it. Maybe I can attack him then. Oh, we might lose this because I don't think our dragon's working. Yeah, our dragon's not getting a lead here. Okay, no, we are going to win this, but very barely. Very narrow victory, I think. Yeah. I might have to lead these armies then. Just so we can have a, an adult dragon here. Yeah, I think that's our only option. Because not having a dragon is even worse. Take the marches, secure this point, and then move on to Bravos proper. Yeah, Volantis is on its way now. Mia, I assume, is just going to siege all of Pentos, which is more than fair. One of my slaves has died. My nephew Valerian has had a son. Let's name him Aethon, Gaiman, Megan. I mean, Valar's always cool. I like Valar. And he, oh, he was still born. He's going to attack me. This is the difference of a, of a male dragon. Look at that. That is the difference of having a, a full adult dragon in the battle. I don't know why I said male dragon. Uh, she dragons, I think, actually have a more ferocious traits. But now that's with the bonus of having a, an actual adult dragon in the battle compared to an eight-year-old dragon. Oh, Astapor has finally risen. It's so weird that the Lord of Astapor and the Lady of y and the Lord of Yunkai, or Lady of Astapor and the Lord of Yunkai, are married. But since it's the second marriage, it shouldn't cause too much problems. And they're doing the thing again where they've got some of their army on my capital that will sit there and do nothing for the entire war. But these are actually have some armies fighting up in Bravos proper. Oh, Valantis is just uh, doing incredible work sieging up on the sides. Let's siege down the capital. I do wonder, is this literally going to just give me Bravos? <laughs> or will it also give me Pentos? I think it's only going to only give me Bravos, and then we're going to have to come back for Pentos in a future war. Which is going to be interesting, no doubt. Oh my goodness! Oh my word, this is the news we've been waiting a long time for. Our time and investment has finally paid off. The colony in Valyria is complete. It's a self-sufficient domain of the realm, as it once was many, many years ago. Look at that. It is a completed colony. It means we don't get to see how much cash it makes. But I do think maybe we can start on a second city for it. Maybe a city or another castle. Um, well, I actually have space here for another demand. So let's build another castle. Why not? Let's just do it. Uh, we can upgrade the castle town. Yeah. We're going to, all our money is going into Valyria now because it is actually complete. Uh, I mean, we're not seeing much increase in our profit here, but that's all, I assume that's only because our army is so expensive. 36 tax value. What's Illyria's tax value for comparison? 29. So it already has a higher tax, tax uh, capabilities than our own capital. Oh, my wife is arriving with her forces. Of course, she does not have a dragon. She is just one of the best fighters that we have. I wish I could have given her Valyrian Steel. I mean, she has her Golden Sword, but I wanted to give her the Valyrian Steel uh, Majesty. But that's sort of been a, li a bit lost. It's it's one of the Cinder families in this region own it at the moment. March of Mob on the Trade Ports again. Happily take that gold. Losing a bit of gold actually at the moment. Is that how big our army is? Maybe let's bring you into port. Don't know if that affects costs. I don't think so. It's probably because while we're at a mega war, my vassals don't pay taxes to me. I think that's probably what causes a big disparity in payments. Where am I? War with you. You're, what? You're part of the Bravos War for some reason? That's weird. Very peculiar. Because once we own Bravos, 
we can secure pencils. And then having this entire coastline as ours means all of the trade flows directly through us. Basically, all of the, you know, the, the rock and the iron throne rely on us and our existence now. And then we could maybe go Cahor and the Horus of Arath. Just take everywhere that's civilized because, you know, the, these lands don't bother us. Maybe we can look eastwards as well. I don't really want to expand much further than Calf, though. If I even want to take Calf, because Calf's not that great. And then past it is just, like, who cares about the shadow? Have I taken the capital? Because I want to take the capital before I, um, peace out. Feels right that Bravos wouldn't surrender. You know, these guys only care about a city that sells. Although maybe having a dragon breathing down their necks is, is what's causing them to be a bit hesitant. Now, we can increase everything here now because we've increased the size of that tower. So we can increase the castle town again. Which I will happily do. For my ward? He's not getting anything. I don't care about my ward's education. Oh, we've actually lost war score. God damn. I assume it's because these lands have suddenly become independent. Have they been... They've go, gone to war while we're at war with them. That's a bit stupid. I feel like when they're already being owned and conquered, they should be able to rise up. Wait, is this not Bravos anymore? What? So the marches also aren't... Ah, oh, this is a bit annoying. I also hope when I take over this throne as me, now I have to now deal with the hostilities against them as well. Although I probably will. I think once we get the capital, it'll give us 20% and we should get 100% on this wall. Because he should still own the capital at least, right? Yes. Yunkai's <laughs> very, very... Oh, sorry. Astapal. Astapal's very late to the fight. Come on. This garrison's so defeated. Oh, bring them to my camp. Oh, and we can dis we can take all the money from the Bank of Bravos. Absolutely. And I can take the Red Book. What a what a massive victory. Okay, we do get Pentos. He's destroyed the title, the Principality of Pentos. Can I create the title now? Or what's the... This one. Oh, he destroyed a principality, not the city itself. Okay. Huge war going on there, though. Uh, I don't think I can aid him with it. I can at least send my armies back home. There's not a lot I can do. I just have to guess, wait and see for this war to finish. Whoa, 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 whoa. I tried to sit up in bed, but someone is holding me down. It's the burly armsman with the trustworthy face I promoted to guard last week. Another assailant is trying to force a rag to my mouth. Hold on my nose, I can't breathe. In our moment of great victory over Bravos, I've been assassinated. And all the wealth we just took from Bravos has been uh, granted to or taken from me. And I don't have a dragon, do I? I have a Xantis? Did I just directly inherit a Xantis? I didn't think you could. No, I have his whip. So I directly inherited a Xantis? That's the second time that's happened. A Xantis staying in the, the family line as a true dragon of kings. Um, I kind of want to get our stewardship up. So I will pick that one. Uh, we're going to own money, so again, we're... wait, no, I have Tamer Dragon on shops. So I, I guess his answers maybe just be there as a glitch then. Uh, sell slaves from our camp. So we can earn the money for the funeral. I feel like every single time I have to do that. Huh? All bow before Her Excellency. Lady Sinrith. Or Empress Sinrith. Of House Sinrith. The first of her name, Empress of the Gulf of Grief, Master of Marine, Astapor and Yunkai, Ruler of Illyria, Heir to the Giscari Empire. 
And then I would add something like ruler of the freeholds with, with our conquests over here. Uh, I want to see how this is going to end up going, because I'm not too sure. I'm going to drive the savages from our lands. Yunkai still risen because they are defending against the raid. Okay. So my husband passed away. I need a new husband. Pick myself. Do I have to pick a male first? No, I... Okay. Am I... Do I have widow trait, maybe? I do, I'm widowed. Oh, no! So it means that, uh... Jahira will be next in line. Unless I can lose the widow trait at some point. Also, the Bravos army is still over here. Rather than trying to deal with their rebellion. Oh, no, he does have an ar one army dealing with his rebellion, at least. Hmm. The feasting commence. Who killed my father? Are they doing the same to me? Uh, I have an auto stop plot, son, so I didn't know of the plot, at least publicly. Let's go to court petition. No, it says, it says Azantis is my dragon. And I have the whip, so why am I. Oh, I'm tame, tame a dragon. What is this? Well, I guess I'll click it and see what it does in this circumstance. Oh, I see. Okay, so I have to... So it's basically she's in... Xantus is in my court and it is for me to tame, but I haven't tamed them yet. Makes sense. Bathans refuse to be arrested. Come on, surely everyone's going to stand up against this crooked fool. Then request it may have entry into his lands at Valyria and delay his homage until he can extract to Valyria. No, pay homage. I don't. I, I can assume Pentos isn't going to rise. Um, Mir has not picked a side. Lys has not picked a side. Oh no, Lee. This Lys is not picked a side. Volantis. None of them have picked a side. That's so helpful. And I'm a bit low on troops, but. We're, we're going to fight. Uh, I won't fight. I won't send the capital troops, though. Uh, let's get tempor temporary war council set up. Uh, and I, of that council, I want to get training troops in Illyria. And have the armies meet in Tolos. So my mother owns this crap, but when my mother dies, I will earn that title. Father's funeral is complete. Ooh, he's tamed a dragon. He's tamed Aaron. Bathan is a lunatic. It would be very useful to, to defeat him. Is Nuki still? Yeah. So it's only Astapor who's aiding him. Ooh, Azantis is laying a wonderful egg. Fantastic news. Astapor is laying... So Astapor <laughs> themselves as a city have, but his own vassals have refused him. That is quite funny in my opinion. Let's get to Marine. Riding on the back of Azantis. Look at his armies is all the way still on Bravos. Oh no. Aaron Cinder now rides on the back of Maraxes. Oh, he's in a. Uh... Wow. He's the second son of uh, Aemon of Tyria. Who has a dragon egg? Tagar's dragon egg. Who's Tagar? Is his father's dragon? Because Orion has a dragon, right? No, Orion doesn't have a dragon. I could have sworn he did. I might give Orion Marine. 
Ooh, that's the poor army. Uh, make sure I haven't got my best commanders here. Yeah, let's do it. Pick the support army hard here. With Jahira coming up in our rear. Call her Lord Paramount. I wish it would call her like Dowager Queen or something. Why is it showing Kazaris? Oh, it, here's Tagar. Later Dragon Egg, only nine? So Lady Shahira's Dragon Tagar. We shall cast them down. The goddess. I mean, it's eight years old. I was expecting this to happen. I don't think Tagar was going to be victorious against us. Against uh, a, a dragon as old as ours. But how old is this answer now? 62 years old. Wow. Can I use dragon fire on the siege? Burn the walls of Marine again. <laughs> Marine is always the one to try and rise and fight us, and it never works for them. Uh, let's do a checkup on the Bravos War. Oh, yes, he's actually sided with us. That's helpful. Um, 43% in favour of him. So he's currently winning against his uh, rebellious vassals. That's good, at least. Earning any money? Oh, yeah, good. Uh, I can only assume Valeria is playing a good part of that. Look at up to 5,000 men there, a total of 10,000 potential. Because it is a Valyrian trade route. Can't construct any great work, though, because it's sadly not in the mod. I really wish it would be. To me, it just makes sense that it could be. Troll posts, we want to get those up so we can level everything else. Miris Cinder has died. Uh, I'll attend, even though he's so distantly related to me. Have his family put in the dungeon. Get my navy. I only need a 95, I think, right? Is it a thousand per ship or a hundred per ship? I genuinely don't remember. Yeah, it's a thousand per ship. We're gonna go to the capital and we're gonna get our troops back up. And you are almost sure it is mid heat. Perhaps this response to my touch and soon will reveal its secret. Its secret being that there's a dragon inside. I don't know as much of a secret. Keep those troops. And let's stay here a while and regain our troop amount. Troop holding. Has it finished improving? Yeah, so it's finished improving here, and I can't improve do the improvements on Melian much because I don't own it anymore. The roads around Morris have become virtually unusable. Uh, we'll pay the stewards to repair the roads. So many known plots. There's his main army. 9,000 men. Took a long time for them to arrive here. Let's bring back the Illyrian forces. I could raise the, Valy the Valyria forces, but I don't really want to. Uh, I'll need to raise the ships here. At least. They say Lord Layman Baloris rides Vedegon into battle. Ooh. Lands of Long Summer, so a loyalist riding on the Dagon. Mighty dragon, that is. Younger, but stronger than Azantis. To keep that in mind. See, while I land in Borash while he's there, let's wait a second before going into Borash. And then now we go, because he's locked in. Black terrain. 
Dragon Morale's gonna hit now. Leap more to Eris on the back of Valix. Oh, I only have. I don't think they'll be in next pass. What is why? So we're fighting even though the battles are over. It's because we're on the same province. Azantis is main. Can I get out of this goddamn battle? Why am I in this battle? This is a bit annoying. There we go. Valix has passed away, ending the battle. I don't know why there was a battle still going on. Let's land in Tolos and rejuvenate. Yes, I mean, I find it a little silly that the battle just keeps... I assume it's meant to be the battles happening as the fight goes on. But... It is a little... Strange that it, it goes on when the battle's already finished. Because you could technically move on and be in a second battle and be fighting two dragon battles at once. And I'm not sure how the game would handle that. I think it'd probably break. And I wouldn't blame it for breaking, because it's a bit absurd. He was killed by armed thugs while investigating a room about a plot in Illyria. Jesus, is there something going on in Illyria? Yeah, keep scheming if you can. Try and uncover what the hell's going on with these plots. We should be able to win this, I think, by just taking out this Astapol army. It's the last big army they have left. There we go. Enforce our demands. He will forfeit Marine. And... She rides on Ruin? That is a beautiful picture. Um, Who are you? You rose against me as well. Um, You can bend the knee. Do I let Sayela bend the knee? She does like me. I assume she only rose maybe because of bonds and ties to Marine. She's also a lunatic, but I don't really have anyone better to rule Astapor. I'll let her bend on me. Hopefully, waiting for the, the powers have stopped going to war and they'll all return to you. There we go. Report the old council. Pay for the Tolos Harvest Fest. Mir and Bravos are still standing. I assume Bravos is because of his civil war. He's 97% winning there. And Mia... 0% war score in a war against... Kahor. Oh, he's, against, he's at war with Kahor over trade. Interesting. Am I able to revoke... Yeah, revoke his high lordship. And I have a truce with him. I guess I'll just keep him in prison until his truce ends then. Because we are going to give this to Orion, I think. The Bathan's release, uh, sure. Okay, at least. Lots of bastards being born at the moment as well, by the way. <laughs> just a sort of uh, bastards. Um, let us train troops in the capital again. And then here we can... Oh my goodness! The dragon Azanthus had a long life, but unfortunately she is now dead. Her age finally catching up with her. Only 63! I could make a dragon bone necklace and add a dragon skull. Okay. No matter what, I'm getting a dragon egg, it seems. Or I have a chance of getting a dragon egg? A dragon bone bow or a dragon bone necklace. Do I have a necklace? It is very sad I've lost Xantis, and this is going to be a problem because I don't think I can get another dragon. 
So we're going to have a generation with her. I mean, this is also, like, for saying this, is just a bad sign. You know, she's a female ruler and she's lost the dragon that has been in her family for quite a while now. We have the Spellarian skull already. Um, I don't think I have a necklace. So we... But I also don't have a bow, and a bow does sound cool. We'll pay for the bow. Atlantis is dead. I'm widowed. I'm without a dragon. Don't think things will get much worse. I guess we can try to start looking for a, a husband for Jahira. Vidos, maybe, because he's 17. Not many options of Valerians. He's okay. I think we go with Drago here. It's going to lose his prestige. There'll be a matrilineal marriage at the very least. Because his offer, I'm pretty sure, wasn't matrilineal. Well, I think we'll call it there. And we're going to be in a very strange situation, aren't we? We'll decide that next episode. But... If Xantus has died, I assume of the maiming he got in that battle against a two-year-old dragon in Borash. A battle that I really wish I could have just left. I don't know why that battle just kept going on and on and on. But with him passed away, we are in a very strange position now. We have secured... I mean, look at that. It is beautiful that it is actually finally done with its walls. We can take a look. That we own Bravos and Pentos. We... When Mir secedes back into us when his war is finished, we own the entire coast. We own all the way from the Bone Coast to Bravos. You know, this is a definitive. This is the Valyrian Empire, and with Valyria finished under us, we're in a really strong position as well. We can start upgrading these. In fact, we're going to start getting the mines in here. We can start upgrading. Here, we're going to start working here, but man, it is tough to have lost Azantis. And it's not a good sign for our potential as a future ruler. People are going to start asking questions, you know, us failing to keep our dragon. But we do have a dragon bone bow. Can't equip it and Ash at the same time, but I think there may be, like, in future, if we have a character who's very clearly like an archer, it would be cool to have them use dragon bone bow. Lizantis has at the very least left a dragon egg. What we do with it? That's another question. But our wealth has grown. The capital, or our future capital, so to speak, grows. In fact, do we name Valyria our capital now? Do we take that plunge? Or do we wait until we have the full aisle before we do that? That is a question I want you guys to answer. But with the empire beneath us, there's only two other empires are even notable. Neither of these can compare with us. We are in a strong position, ready to go forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm sure in the next episode, we are going to have a lot of fun deciding the fate of young Empress Saneris. Will she remain a loyal widow? Will she find love? Or, most likely, um, uh, more obviously, will she be able to hold off the questions of her power and strength. Because after all, she no longer rides on Dragonback, but so many others do. Whether or not she can last as Empress is yet to be seen. And we'll find out in the next episode. Until then.